Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Uh, it's Kira Kenny with uh, another announcement. Okay, um, I have gotten really lazy over the past year. Um, Beast Wars Bridge is probably going to be delayed a little longer just because... Like I said, I got lazy with the video editing. Um, to put it short, all I have really had done was two scenes. <laughs> Um, I have a new voice actor for Terror Sore, but, you know, that was done almost months ago. Um, so, between, you know, now and whatever, I'm also going to be working on a new, another one shot. So, I mean, you know, you can call me impatient, you can call me lazy, call me whatever, you know. I was originally planning on looking for a new video editor for my, for my, uh, Beast Wars the Bridge series, but then I realized, you know what? I can probably do this by myself. You know, I just need the right kick in the ass to motivate myself, especially since, you know, summer started. Um, anyways. Like I said, I'm working on a new uh, one-shot. I actually have the script right here. And I'm looking for some voice actors to help me out, because this isn't like Inuyasha, where I can barely pull off the voices. There, there are very radically different voices here, and it would really stretch my... and. Like, some of these, it would really stretch my range to try and get. The others, I just, I don't think I could pull off. Um, I know what you're thinking. Why the fuck did you decide to do a one-shot for this if you can't even do all the voices? I'm not Little Karibo or Lanny Pator or Masako X. You know, um, I just kind of, I see a series, I'm interested in a bridge, I'm interested in doing a one-shot for it, and I'll do it. Granted, most of those one-shots I didn't finish, look at... Um, my, I originally planned to do a Cowboy Bebop one-shot, never got done. Uh, a, uh, what was it called? Jalan Showdown one-shot, never even got scripted. Um, I was originally going to plan to redo an Ultimate Muscle a bridge series, but trying to do that with Beast Wars a bridge just seems like too much of a hassle, so that's going to be a one-shot now. Um, I've, I've already got it half-scripted. And then there's this one shot that I'm currently working on for Power Stone. If any of you guys remember that old anime, um, I don't know when the hell it was from, but there was also a video game, uh, two video games actually on the Sega Dreamcast for this. This is the actual anime, so yeah. Um, I basically need voices for four, five characters, which is a huge chunk, so I'm not looking for the same voice actor, but... Um, Anyways, um, these voices are very, I'm not sure I could do them voices, you know, maybe the first one, Valgus Falcon, I could probably pull off if, you know, with a little bit of practice, but just in case, you know, I don't want to take that, um, who went, forget I even said Valgus Falcon, um, oh, I think I can do that, I think I can try it, or I've got a friend who can, or we can ask about it, um, the main character, Edward Falcon, his uh, his butler, Apollos. I need a vo I need someone to do a voice for that. Um, you know, a very high pitched, whining English butler voice, if if that makes sense. You know, if a, if a guy can do that kind of whining butler voice, English, and can hold an English accent longer than I can, good on you, cause you know that'd be great. Um, I also need someone to voice Rouge, the fortune teller, who's essentially <laughs> going to be the, you know, if, if I can get an actual female voice actor for that, awesome. If not, you know, the generic abridged female voice would be good. I just, I can't hold that voice myself. Just because just cause my voice is so deep. Um, I also need voices for the bad guys, Octo and Puss. Um, Octo, big guy, very gruff voice you'd almost expect to see. I don't know, maybe someone like Chris Sabat or Scott McNeil to voice. Um, I'm not saying Chris Sabat or Scott McNeil voice them, or you should try to do something like that, but something similar. Something similar to that would be good. Um, for Octo, for Puss, the little guy. Um, we're thinking, I'm thinking Three Stooges here, like very... Oh, wise guy, eh? You know, like that. Um, I mean, you know, there's various backs... Um, behind the scenes, small extra parts, but I can voice those myself. I mean, 
if it's just one or two lines, I can handle that. I can handle that. Or, you know, there's two henchmen that really have a big voice. I mean, if one of you wants to audition for the henchmen, just add it on to your video. Add it on to your audition if you're interested. Um... So yeah, that's it. Like basically, I know who I who I can voice. Maybe Valgus Falcon, if not, you know, there's two separate voices, and I've got a friend who I could probably ask. Um, Edward Falcon, a couple of random extras, and uh, Ryoma the Samurai. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that's basically I'm basically gonna be basing that guy off of Brock just because he looks like Brock. You know, I mean Brock from Pokemon or something like that. Um. Yeah, so if you're interested, just uh, send me a video response. I mean, I know I always, I'm almost always asking for auditions for this shit. Um, and they almost never work out. Um, but if you do find yourself interested, just give me a video response. Or even just personal message it to me. And, uh... Yeah, good luck to you guys. Um, so hopefully both of these, Beast Wars Bridge and the Power Stone one shot, will be out by the end of the summer. Um, oh, speaking of Beast Wars Bridge, I am looking for some new blood in terms of voice actors because there are certain characters that I just don't think I can voice. I mean, I've already found a new voice actor for Terror Sore. Um, someone who can do a very good Mark Hamill Joker impression. That's all the only hint I'm giving you about Terror Sore's new voice. Um, anyways, I, uh, if anyone's interested in voicing Inferno when he comes in, um, Inferno, I was planning to have that very stereotypical kind of na Nazi voice, if that doesn't offend anybody. <laughs> um, just because, you know, in, in the actual show, he's very protective of the queen and the colony, you know, Megatron and everything. So I figured, why not change that around and make him more of a Nazi? Um, who else? Tigertron, I can voice myself, because that's only really going to involve a little bit of Babelfish. Um, Black Arachnia and Air Razor, those are voices I just, I don't think I can do. Black Arachnia is a very gruff female voice, and so is Air Razor. I was originally planning on making Black Arachnia a Russian, so if you can do a Russian accent, if you can speak with a Russian accent, that would be even better for Black Arachnia. For Air Razor, um, I don't know, any kind of gruff female voice is good. Um, Quick Strike. I know that's way, way later on. I'm not even sure if I'm going that far yet. Um, Quick Strike is going to... I'm going to need someone who can do a Texas accent, because I sure as hell can't. Or even, like, an English accent to kind of go the opposite. Like, I don't I don't have pure plans for that yet. Like, I know I'm going to be voicing Silverbolt. Come on. I've been voicing every other character Scott McNeil voices. Um... Other than that, no plans for certain characters, so if you're interested in auditioning for Power Stone or for Beast Wars Abridged, just send me a video audition, and uh, good luck.